At dawn this morning, Sid Haig was going underground again. He's leading one of the two teams tunnelling toward the air pocket and the seven trapped men. His son Donald leads the other, and another son, Alan, is missing behind the wall of mud and water. The rescue teams are working as long as 12 hours at a time and are being brought in from all the North Yorkshire collieries. Some are working in deep water and mud and need breathing apparatus. Others on the two-foot-high tunnel being cut toward the missing miners, which seems particularly dangerous work. Well, it is because, uh, you know, in the, it's so soft, there's no telling how much is going to come at each time. You know, to be very cautious, to work one ring at a time, setting supports after each ring, and then advancing again to get another ring. Um, amongst the men working there, is there still optimism that they'll find survivors? We've still got hopes. This is all we can say. We've still got hopes, you know. Uh, we sincerely hope there is. Is that what and keeps you going at that this pace? Is, well, it, it is what's keeping us going, yes. Uh, everybody's working flat out to try and get there. If there is any possible chance, then we shall be there in time to get them. The six-inch shaft they're drilling is now only 93 feet above the passage where the men are cut off. But it halted today while cement was poured in to reinforce the path through water holding rock. When they do break through, they'll lower lights and a loud hailer. The coal board chairman came to see the rig that's close to the 19th century disused shafts where it's thought the flood water accumulated. Shouldn't the board have known of them? Well, that's exactly, of course, what the, one of the things the inquiry will be looking into, so I can't say anything until it's taken place. All I can say is that the coal board meticulously stick to all the rules and the regulations. They go by all the evidence available. This is all very clearly laid down in the various coal mines acts, and uh, we keep to it all. What will emerge from the inquiry? Obviously, I cannot say what other procedures may develop in the future. Again, is something that will have to be determined. There's no evidence at the moment of negligence? None has been brought to my attention whatsoever. More than a thousand men have so far been involved in the rescue operation. Tomorrow, they hope to know whether, in fact, any of the seven survived Wednesday's disaster. 